you seen the Spurs game? I watched the Spurs game, okay. yeah. That's where we're going to begin with Spurs chat, OK? Now, it's interesting because, of course, Spurs have got so many games in hand. And when you're looking at the Premier League table, where everyone's like, oh, Spurs win their games. They go, I think, joint second with Liverpool or something like that. Um, they lost last night. And then the same games played as Arsenal. Right, OK. They lost. It's not about Arsenal, this bit. It is. They lost, they lost last night, OK? Southampton at home is the type of game where Spurs should get something out of it, a point, but certainly not nothing out of it. Mm. They were appalling last night. I think that's oh, fair. Oh, I don't think that's fair. You thought they were good? No, but I thought it was a good game. Uh, no, it was a good game. It was a good game. But so I thought there were a lot of players, we'll start, of course, with Emerson Royale, who I thought was what you order when you got a Burger King in France to begin with. <laughs> and having seen his performance, they'd probably be better off with some kind of cheeseburger. <laughs> but, 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 you know, you look at the league table... Is there a doubt now that Spurs might not get European football, might not get top six, do you think? Well, I think for Spurs, I guess the only... I know West Ham got the result the other night, then they 1-0, didn't play particularly well, but managed to beat Watford. Is that Manchester United seem to be doing everything they can to throw it away. Arsenal will play tonight, so we'll see there. Wol- I mean, I think Wolves are maybe the outside danger now. Because they're do playing, you? Yeah. It's a big play- game tonight. Really big game. Big game. You look at the goals conceded. Wolves, are the only team that has conceded less than them are... I think Manchester City is the only team that's conceded less than them. So it's... It's one of them where phew, it's going to be difficult. I think Wolves have been superb this season. Um, but Spurs last night, you'd expect them to, to beat Southampton. But fair play to Southampton. Ralph Hasen, who I'm a big fan of, is clearly they had a game plan. Spurs' is right-hand side defensively, oh, for my goodness, mm. wow, shocking. Um, but again, really well played, James Ward-Prowse, for my, in, one of my, in my opinion. What did I say to you in the last transfer window? I'm amazed he's still there. I think... Potentially, he could be one of the most underrated Premier League players right now. Why are we not picking up back pages and seeing his name, Jack, being linked to other clubs? To where? Well, I mean, he improves Spurs, doesn't he? He improves Everton. I mean, pretty much outside maybe the top four. And there's yeah, yeah. a case to be said, yeah, maybe Everton and below Southampton. Yeah, but as as a size of club, if you, I mean, he, I'm guessing he's got ambition, right? Yeah, but the thing is, he's he's captain there. He's he's been there his whole career. They're not going to go down, are they? No, Never. No. I mean, I don't know. Is he going to go into a top four team? Not about top four, but I just think for someone of his quality, I th- I'm surprised no one's really had to go at him because I get it. And this is again no disrespect to James Ward Prowse because I think his his technique and his ability is with the ball at his feet is I don't think there's anyone better in terms of delivery, his passing. But is it sexy enough of a signing for say Spurs? Because I think if Spurs fans said they were right signing Ward Prowse, there might be a bit of. Really? Mm. But Ben Tancourt, just because he came from Juventus, all of you're a sudden, right. you right. go, right. oh wow. yeah. But if you look at the ball at both mm. their feet, and set pieces in the modern game are so important because they can win games if games are tight, you're looking at the very, very best in the business in terms of delivery. Mm. Now, even the, the two goals that he set up last night, they weren't dead ball, but my goodness, does he put them into an mm. area where you just want to go bang and attack it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm looking at Tottenham's lineup. I'm looking at the players. They've got Harry Kane's going to be 29 in July. Son's going to be 30 in July. These are their best two players. Mm. Um, you take them out of the team, and the reason I say that is because, of course, you know, you look at Spurs maybe next two or three years. But Harry Kane might not be there, so they're, they're getting older as well. I just wonder where the next generation of Spurs player is going to come from because they, well, they they don't bring that many players through, do they? Probably Harry Kane Harry was the Wings. last. Skip, uh, has he skip. made it? Skips another one. Tanganga. These are players that well, you go. Mm. I think Conte made it clear that they're going to have to invest and. In, when he went there, he wanted to invest. Probably didn't invest as much as they wanted in, in January. But yeah, over the next few years, they're going to have to invest. But it's like the same with everyone. Players are getting older. <laughs> the thing with Kane is, he looks like one of them players you can go on to, like Ronaldo. Do you know what I mean, thirty six. He looks after himself. He'll always score goals. You never lose that. Um, but yeah, they're going to have to you invest. Do. Would you be worried? I know you're not. What did you say? <laughs> you do. Well, <laughs> no, but you relied on pace a little bit, yeah. right? No, I did not a little bit. I did. But then towards the end, it's Fox in the box. But as, as you yeah. said, there were Kane. With he his, don't rely on pace. No, with his finishing abilities, well, he can hit them from anywhere. Yeah, mm. and he can. You, you get the feeling that you know towards the back end of his career, he could easily play the number ten, let someone else score the yeah. goal, and sit back a bit, yeah. and you know supply the bullets. Uh, if you're a Spurs fan, I know neither of you aren't, and I know you're Arsenal, and you'll probably enjoy the next question. But Spurs over the next however many months, 12, 24, would you be worried if you're a Spurs fan if you don't see that investment? Yeah, there's always got to be investment, but this has been the conversation with Daniel Levy for a, a number of years now. But yeah, if you're a Spurs fan, you want to see these players coming in the door. And at the minute, at the rate that they want... Uh, my biggest fear if I was a Spurs fan is Conte leaving. Because if you look at the teams that are chasing the, the top four, United, Arsenal, West Ham... I'll put Wolves in there because I think Wolves deserve you to mean, be in You there. mean fourth spot? Chasing that fourth spot because yeah. I think Chelsea, Liverpool and Man City are the top three. 
you look at who's got the best manager. Well, Spurs have got the best manager out of that lot by some distance. If he was to leave, what happens then? Mm. Uh, I've, I'll, I'll name you some clubs. You tell me which one are favourites to get fourth. Okay, Arsenal, or Spurs. Arsenal. You're going to say Arsenal, okay? But genuine, you believe that? Okay. Yeah. West Ham or Spurs? Tough. Who would you say, Benty? Uh, West Ham and Spurs. Yeah, right now. Will you look West Ham fourth? <laughs> that is tough. It's tough. I'd, I'd probably say Spurs, if I'm honest. Would you? Yeah. Because oh, you know, West Ham can get them results against big teams. They sit in there. Oh, but I look at the, the West Ham have played three more games, yeah. by the way. And I only look have at the firepower point. that Spurs have got. I know they're not maybe firing all cinders, but Son Kane at any given moment, even Lucas Moura could, could turn it on. Mm. Okay. Uh, last question, then we'll take calls. Spurs, will they get top four? Hmm. No. Okay, will they get European football? Yeah. Jack, Spurs top four? No. European football? Yep. Okay.